Um, nice to see a different kind of effort out there. There was, you know, Boucher had some good positioning and a little bit of luck, but mainly good positioning. There were a couple times that it looked like it could go the other way there. Well, you need your goaltender playing good every night. There's no question. Bush had a good game. You know, he was, he was big at critical times on the penalty kill. Right? He took a couple back-to-back at a third period. So you know, even on the 3 on all in the uh, second period on that turnover by our player, he made an unbelievable save on it. But... Uh, you know, it was Boucher was uh, showing his experience. He was a real veteran out there. Playing. Off of that turnover, was it good to see Mordson come back with two goals? Then it was. You know, you, uh, everybody knows that as a player when you're on the ice and you, you and you screw up and it, it ends up going in your net. You know, you got to dig in and get something done. And he responded. Uh, is this one of the more you know? I know that the penalties were an issue, but other than that, one of the more complete games you've played in a while. It seems like you were really doing what you wanted to do out there. We did a good job from the start. I, I liked our first period, the way we uh, win the opening faceoff. We had a scoring chance right off that original play, um, but we kept going in the in the first period. Played played well. Moved the puck, showed some good composure. Got the first goal of the game. Really backed off in our second period with. Uh, with plays that we got to get out of our game, decisions that we have to get out of our game. But I like the way we come back in the third with a good response and a real big win for us to get us back to uh, even in the standings with that team. I know we've talked about penalties, but just how good was it to see that kind of effort from your PK tonight? Well, PK has been good for me all year long. I think the, you know we're we're up in the top third of the league. Um, throughout most of the year and it, it, it needs to come through at the right time and the, the you know, power play uh, can win you a game the penalty killing can lose you a game and I thought tonight the penalty killing did an outstanding job at the right time. The power play has been doing very well for you guys. It's now seven straight games with the goal and you got two tonight. Is there anything that you've done differently there or is it just shooting? Just you? shooting the puck. Yeah, that's been different because we haven't shot the puck very much this year on the power play. I think sometimes you get into a power play you try to pass the puck into the net right. and that's that's hard to do, and so just getting pucks through with traffic is a uh, basic concept, but it works a lot of the time. I think you've just described Atkinson's goal there. Yeah, yeah, it gets back up top, and he takes a shot at the net. It gets some eyes, and it finds its way into the net. You know, those are the goals that are going in. You can watch the NHL level, or you can watch uh, uh, midget level, and you're going to see those kinds of plays going in a high percentage of the time. Now, having a little bit of trouble in the second period, what was your message to the team to make sure they didn't come out in the third flat? Well, I'll just get back to where we did it, the way we did it in the first period. I thought we were keeping the game basic, which we need to do right now. We're not a high-skilled hockey club, and if you get pucks behind any defense and you try to get some pressure, get speed, recover some pucks, and keep the play on that end, you know, you, you could have give yourself an opportunity to have some, some success. And uh, we got away from that in the second period. I think that'll do it for me. Um, in terms of Ford, is he just still feeling the effects of that knee from last week? And opening yeah, it? yeah, that's exactly what it is. And uh, he went and saw the doctor today, saw the doctor here tonight before the game. So he'll not make the trip with us tonight. Okay. Is he a lengthy amount of time that he's going to I don't think so. Uh, that's... I mean, he's walking around. He's not in crutches or in a splint or anything like that. So I'm, I'm saying it based on that only. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, Coach, real quick.